An art exhibit that explores the connections and relevance of Christian gospel and prevailing social conditions will be on display at the Manchester Community Library until April 24th. Artist Don Bolognese, who makes his home in Landgrove today by way of New York City, has brought a collection of drawings to the exhibit space at the library, as well as one very large painting titled Good Friday 2019. It's a striking picture that ostensibly places the crucifixion of a Christ-like figure in a modern setting. The painting was on display for an opening reception held on April 15th at the library. We had a chance to chat for a bit with the artist about his artwork before the opening reception held at the library on the 15th. Tell us a little bit about these pictures here. There looks like there's about a dozen or so images that you've uh, pulled together. Tell us about this group here. Right. Well, this is an interesting group because this represents the work that my wife, Elaine, Raphael, and I did when we were first out of Cooper Union Art School. We did a lot of work. We were very involved with the kind of liberation theology of, of Catholicism and uh, a lot of, it was very much about the people and that kind of thing. This would have been uh, back in the 1960s, in the 70s. The 1960s, yeah. And these are, uh, the, the technique is of woodcuts here, and this is a painting by my wife Elaine. And these are represent a, an attitude you might almost say that they're angry, that there's a the, the sense we're trying to convey the, the horror of the, of the, uh, the, mm. the, uh, the crucifixion. Mm. And it represents a very different approach uh, than, than we, I, I was doing recently. Um, this, uh, these are drawings that I did, some of which I did in Italy, uh, in preparation for this big painting, which I call Good Friday 2019. And what I did in order to get a real feeling for it was to create an atmosphere of the 20, 21st century. Huh. And so okay. uh, this, this period in the life of, uh, and death of Christ was, uh, it's called the Passion of Christ. It usually starts uh, right after the Last Supper, through the arrest, the, the trial, the mockery, and everything else that we traditionally know about. But here we have a situation which has been updated to our contemporary times with a further update of a woman instead of a man being crucified. So um, uh, that has brought in a lot of other subjects, which were, I did not intend to. I have to say that this, was, this whole thing came as an inspiration while I was in Italy, the whole painting. And, um, and then I, I fleshed out the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the things. And, and uh, you know, here you have, <laughs> Her, her crawling through Midtown Manhattan, and here she's being mocked and given the crown of thorns with the additional thing, and I'll let people speculate as to why I did that, and you'll see it in the painting. Mm -hmm. Instead of just the thorns, I have roses on the thorns, which mm. I will talk about later, but. Um, so, and uh, this is a, the Last Supper, or at least my, my version of it, and uh, where uh, Jesus was a carpenter, so I have the contemporary version, she's a gardener, and I kind of like that idea, a, nur a nurturer, and a, a, a Jesus was a builder, and so there's something about that that's very positive and, and, uh, and, and, and supportive of us. So anyway, that, that's what happens there. And then, of course, um, the, um, the big painting, and that all is of this project, by the way, took me about a year. This entire, all of the sketches that we just saw? And, and well, the, the sketches, some of them preceded the, the painting and some went along with the, with the painting. But as, as you can see, the, the one particular sketch in there where, where she is hanging on a tree is uh, definitely a precursor to this. Uh, I, the, original, the original idea, and, and it was truly, and this is not so frequent, I mean, it's a rare occasion I got the vision of this painting, it was almost full-blown when, when I got it. And I had other plans, I was working on other projects, and I just dropped them, and I, I went on this, and it wasn't supposed to be this big, but it kept growing. I this actually, is one very I, large picture. It actually outgrew my studio in New York, so I had to come up here and paint <laughs> in the barn I have. And, uh, and then it got too cold in the barn, I had to take it to the another barn belonging to the Land Grove Inn, which was heated, so they, I thank okay. them for that. But anyway, uh, it was a, a, really a mammoth work because the, the, the biggest thing was the composition of it. Yeah. You know, how, how do you 
compose this thing and get the effect of a, of a city scene. And, and a, one of the things, having spent so much of my life in New York, one of the things that really has always impressed me about New Yorkers and crowds is that they'll gather for a crowd even if they don't know what it's all about. So there's a sense here of ignorance on the part of some of the people on the, on the, on the right side of this, uh, the uh, bicycle lady and a few others. And, and she seems to just be stopping it in wonderment at this thing. On the other side, however, uh, the gentlemen, for the most part, on this side are obviously not among the mourners. What they are particularly doing, I leave it to the imaginations of those watching, because if you were indeed a stranger that, uh, that came upon this scene, you wouldn't really know what was happening. I, I have clues in there what, about what I think is happening. Is there, is there some sort of message you're trying to convey with well, the painting, or some kind of? Uh, there's a lot of very interesting things that happen. Messages that people have gotten who've seen this have are in the same ballpark as my 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 message, but they're different. For example, I never, I never thought the tree was anything more than a convenience for the for the cross, but people have said that the tree to them represents the tree of life, and the woman, Mother Earth, being crucified, and you know it, it's a reflection of how many people feel about what's happening to the Earth. Mm. I mean, and what that wasn't really. Uh, my focus was on updating the whole idea of the crucifixion so that it would have more of an effect upon people like myself. I mean, this, uh, by the way, it's important to recognize that the tradition in Christian art was to always present biblical stories within the context of the time in which they were created. In other words, in the 10th and 11th century cathedrals, you don't have... Palestinian figures. You have peasants who are French peasants, and so on and so on. And you'll have you'll have uh, soldiers in armor, definitely not from uh, the year one. And uh, so that always uh, impressed me because it meant that um, the people who were looking at the works were meant to identify with the characters, so that whatever message was being conveyed would, would uh, have more significance for them. It's, I liked working in acrylics because I could make changes. And let me tell you, I made many changes in the composition of this painting. And I would just like to say to those uh, you know, who are interested in art and, and, and how it gets done, uh, I had spent four months in Italy, and one of the things that I recognized finally is that the importance of many of these great masterpieces was in their almost invisible composition. Mm. And then I've read a lot about it, and I discovered, you know, in the writings of some of these great artists, they were obsessed with that. They were obsessed with creating a three-dimensional space. Uh, they, they, were, they loved form and volume, and this is mm. what has inspired me. And um, I realized that I would have to work another 100 years <laughs> to get as good as they were. Uh, but I, I couldn't resist the challenge. Mr. Bolognese will be opening a gallery on Center Hill near the corner of Depot Street soon. He began his artistic career as a children's book illustrator. But this exhibit and the imposing Good Friday painting shows his wide range. For the GNET-TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.